He's won nine Southern Conference titles. He's appeared in the NCAA tournament five times. Second free throw. Landry, and it goes down. And Wisconsin's on the board. And here comes Richards. Foul was caught on Lovedale as he picks up his first for Davidson. Curry, inside, turnaround jumper. And he misses his first shot. Kind of off balance on that one. Again, it's all about position on Stephen Curry. You certainly want to challenge the shot, but you don't want to get him in a comfort zone where he can shoot on balance. That time falling away a little bit. Flowers to Butch. Butch will take three-point shots. He started the season struggling from downtown, but has gotten better as the season has progressed. And when you look at Davidson on defense, man-to-man, -man, they're not a bad defensive team either. Only allowed 63 points per game. Lovedale going up high, can't hold on, we'll stay right here. And Lenny, what should we pay attention to early on? Well, you look at the keys to the game, obviously with Davidson, hot curry, you got to ride the hot man and try to get the ball in his hands. And if you're Wisconsin, you want to get physical, use your size and muscle advantage in the paint, and particularly in defending Stephen Curry. Landry posting up Lovedale, Lovedale has one foul. Here's the bump and grind. Hughes, Flowers shows it. Landry again. Again, a very patient team. They're looking to get the best, most high percentage shot. And that's Butch. Brian Butch. Started the season from the three-point line as Davidson answers. But Brian Butch started the year 3 of 32 from the three-point line. He's currently 23 of 75, so he's getting confidence in that three-point shot. And that will definitely work in the favor of the Badgers. Well, Butch at 6'11", he's got the size to work inside, but a nice touch from beyond the arc. And look at the takeaway right there by Stephen Curry. Curry on the floor with Butch. And the possession arrow. Will favor Wisconsin. And there's Bo Ryan. And I'll tell you what, Bo Ryan is a great coach that doesn't get... Uh, as much credit as he should. Uh, among the upper echelon of coaches, one of the most underrated in the nation, 556 wins, 77% of the games he's coached, he's won. And he's done it at University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and University of Wisconsin, Plattsville, and certainly here at Wisconsin. And you talk about Bo Ryan, this team has won 30 games in the last two seasons. Only Carolina, UCLA, Memphis, and Kansas have done that. Landry off the mark, tracked down by Hughes. He finds Kravinoff on the baseline. Now Hughes penetrating New York style, and he comes up too strong. Those of you expecting to see Stanford and Texas will get you to the tip shortly. Given Sander plenty of room. Thomas Sander not really a perimeter shooter, and look at Butch playing way off him. Richards. Both these teams looking to become very patient right now. Davidson trying to get the ball to Stephen Curry as often as they can. And if they can't, they're going to be left with a little bit of time. Two to shoot. That one off the mark for Paulus Gosselin. And here come the Badgers. And that possession is a perfect example, although the mix-up right there turns it over. Curry gets it again. Will he reload? This time it's Richard. Baseline, Paulus Goslin, and nicely done. Max Paulus Goslin, a junior. He's from Quebec. And Davidson takes a 7 5 lead. And it is so important for Davidson to establish the other guys on their team, make them threats, take the pressure off of Curry. Hughes way off the mark there. Shot clock doesn't reset at 17, and Wisconsin turns it over. 15.34 to play in the first half. Davidson hustling. Wildcats lead it by two. Prototype. Let's see what the skaters think. Is it working? It's better.
Welcome to a network where instant feedback creates instant success. Cisco, welcome to the human network. Every day is a new chance to show the world how phenomenal you can be. Start today with the confidence you get from Gillette Fusion Power Phenom. Fusion Power soothing micropulses help you reduce friction so you barely feel the blades. Try the world's most comfortable shave, Fusion Power. the best a man can get. Investing on my own? That's been okay. I guess. Look, here's the thing. You got your tools and your research and all that. And you're definitely not paying Wall Street prices, but... I could really use some decent input here, you know? Have some look over my shoulder, give me some advice. Who am I going to talk to? My website? What are you building, Stock? I'm working on something big. I can fly. I just finally know what I have to do. This is perfect for our lifestyle. We have a lifestyle? This is how you snack. This is rad. Rad? This bowl is serious food. His toasted rat. That one. In this new wing world, anything is possible. So Wisconsin taking an 8-7 lead. Richards the other way. Good example of how Wisconsin plays offense. Everybody touched the ball in that sequence. Curry knocked out of his hands. He gets it back. Squirts out to Lovedale. And he'll pick up a second foul. And that's a problem now for Davidson. As Lovedale picks up his second Mark it, the 13.58 mark of the first half. And another outstanding job of getting the ball out of Curry's hands. And you put it in a guy like Lovedale's hands who... More times than not, we'll be able to score off a screen and roll or off of dump down, off of penetration. And here, having him handle a ball is not exactly what Bob McKillop wants. 
So they bring in Boris Menno, a senior from Paris, France. Don't forget, for those of you expecting to see Stanford and Texas, we'll get you out of that game as soon as it starts. Flowers. In the game now, Jason Bohannon. He can shoot it from deep. Number 12, White for Wisconsin. Krabenhoff, 10 to shoot. And a whistle, and this will go against the Badgers. It's like an offensive foul on Joe Krabenhoff. And it goes back to the point I was making before. We extol the virtues of Wisconsin's defense, but Davidson, an underrated defensive team. Bob McKillop obviously scouting well. There's his teams getting some hands on the ball, some deflections, really slowing down an already patient Wisconsin offense. So Stephen Rossiter has checked in now. A sophomore from Staten Island, New York, 23 red for Davidson. As well as William Archambault, 22 red. Curry, first good look. And hits. Well, that time... Curry ran Flowers off of three different screens before he got wide open, and it's all about the execution for Davidson in the half court. Got to set screens, and Curry has to set up his man to get rubbed off of those screens. Curry now with six points. He averages 27 per game on the season. Flowers pops out, lets it go. Long rebound, track down, and Wisconsin gets a new shot clock. They squeeze Trayvon Hughes. He splits it. Nice, nice. pass, Landry, and he's fouled. Richards clobbered him, and Landry is down underneath the basket. Again, Michael Flowers making like a ping-pong ball as he comes off the third screen right here. Can't really clear it, and as I said before, all you need is a little bit of daylight. And here, just fighting through the double team. Good ball movement, and the foul on Marcus Landry. So Marcus Landry going to the line, and Richards picks up the foul, his first. Landry led this team in scoring in Big Ten play at 12 a game as he gets the first one to go. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis will take you out for a live look in at the Stanford-Texas game, and they will get you caught up on all the latest tournament news, plus an AT&T Naismith watch update. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Game tied at 10. Curry working hard to get open. Flowers guarding him. Archambeau puts it on the floor. Rejected. Nicely done as that one swatted out of bounds by Steamsma. Well, Greg Steamsma is a shot blocker, underrated inside defender. Comes over nicely across the lane, picking up help. You take a look once again. Flowers very poised to follow Curry off of some screens. He needs help, though. His teammates have to be able to at least maybe get a chip on Curry to force him a little wide to give Flowers a chance to catch up. And Richards finally knocks down one from deep. His first field goal of the game. Jason Richards, the senior, averages 13 a game, eight assists. And those eight assists led the nation. 11.56 to play in the first half. And, I and guess Davidson leads it by three. I guess when you have a teammate that averages 26 points a game and you're the point guard, you're going to get a few assists. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Coming up, more from the Motor City right after this. Reserve your test drive today. It's easy to feel like you're on the same team when you stay at Sheraton. Starwood preferred guests earn star points regardless of what team they root for. So everybody wins. Investing on my own? Well, it's been okay, I guess. But here's the thing. You got your tools and your research and all that, and you're definitely not paying Wall Street prices, but I could really use some decent input here, you know? Have someone look over my shoulder, give me some advice. Who am I gonna talk to? 
our website. Game's on the line, and you're looking at a full count with 0.2 seconds left on the shot clock. Last thing you need to be worried about is your deodorant. That's why I use Old Spice. Old Spice is the bare knuckle, straight arm tackle, heavyweight deodorant that gives the best game, set, and match, high step, and sudden death, double overtime performance in the pit fight against Odor. Hey! From Odor. Thanks, Old Spice. I'm Senior Airman Eric Capuano with the United States Air Force. One of my most significant moments overseas is when I have Army personnel come up to me in the aircraft hangar, and they come over and shake my hand, and they say, are you with Predator? And I say, well, yeah. They say, well, I was just out on a combat patrol, and a Predator saved my life. We got a call in on the radio saying there was an ambush coming in, and because of that intel, we were able to get out of there before things got bad. This is going to save someone's life today. Learn more about our changing world at AirForce.com. Reserve your test drive today. So Davidson losing that game to North Carolina. Bob McKillop wasn't there at that time, but your former coach, Lefty Drizel, was the head coach at Davidson back then. And the irony of it was that was a shot that probably drove Coach Drizel from Davidson to Maryland, and that game was played in College Park on the Cole Fieldhouse floor. Ironically, Charlie Scott had verbally committed to Davidson before changing his mind and going to North Carolina. He became the first African-American scholarship athlete at the University of North Carolina. And there's the left-hander. Yes, uh, you know, I had the great pleasure of making the speech, inducting him into the College Basketball Hall of Fame in Kansas City earlier this year. Well-deserved by Coach Drizell. And folks don't know how much of an innovator he was when he got to the ACC. So many things like having fans on the floor. You know, he was a marketing genius and a pretty good coach. That's right. You also said he was a great motivator. Oh, absolutely. This is a guy that taught me an awful lot about striving for the best, or about being the best. And, you know, that's a role that college coaches certainly should play with the young men under their tutelage. 13-10, Davidson. Here's Wisconsin. Bohannon, that's his shot. And we're all tied up. A well, good ball movement once again, and we'll be saying that often enough for Wisconsin. Team effort. And Davidson answering. This time it's Archambault, so both teams starting to warm up a bit. Wisconsin, three for eight from the three-point line. Davidson, four of seven. And it is so important for Davidson to get other guys to establish themselves as threats. Keep Wisconsin from really overhelping on Stephen Curry. Bohannon now off the dribble. Left hand up and in. Davidson the other way. Wow, do they get up and down. Sander. Well, we talk about the size of Wisconsin and the fact that they like to grind it out defensively in the half court. You see a little bit of half court pressure by Davidson. But Davidson does have quickness. And that time you saw guys leaking out and pushing the ball up the floor. Flowers. Landry. Butch wants the ball in the pivot. They go away from him. Now reaching foul coming up against Davidson. And not a smart foul by Thomas Sander, usually a pretty reliable, crafty defender. But once you step out the hedge, all you want to do is force that ball handler to level off, to go probably parallel to the sideline. And then you get somebody to step up and help again. I should say parallel to the half-court line, just going east-west instead of north-south. Mohannon again. 
Butch deep. And hits. Two threes for Brian Butch in the first half, and we're tied at 18. And give Jason Bohannon a lot of credit. He's able to turn the corner, and that's why you want to prevent the ball handler from getting in to the heart of your defense, the ability to kick it out to the open shooter. Meanwhile, Curry fouled by Flowers. What kind of gum are you chewing, Stefan? Well, right there, just a little bit of hands on Curry, and when he stumbles, the officials call a foul. But you see the job that Michael Flowers has. Everywhere he turns, there's a screen waiting to get him and freeing up Stephen Curry. And as I said, by the end of the day, Flowers will have bruises where he never thought he could have bruises. <laughs> Here's a pick and roll. Richards, so great with the basketball. The teardrop off the glass. I tell you what, folks. When you look at Davidson, you have to know they've played killers this season. They lost to Duke by six. They were up against UCLA by 18 in the first half, ended up losing by 12. They lost to Carolina by four. They beat Gonzaga, beat Georgetown to get to the Sweet 16. They are not afraid, and they expect to win. And Bob McKillop told us, if you take a look at this shot by Butch, knocked out of bounds, and we'll stay right here. Well, Bob McKillop told us that playing these teams like Carolina, Duke, UCLA early really helped them understand who they were. And they were a team that would play partial games. They'd play a good 18 minutes against Carolina, maybe a good 25, 30 minutes against Duke, but they never could seal the deal, play a full 40 minutes, and that's what they worked on. And I think it's really helped them win 24 consecutive games up to now. They understand you got to play a full 40. That's right. Coach McKillop saying we got exposed in November we found out what we lacked, 40 minutes. That's right. Same thing happened last year when they lost to Maryland, 82-70. to They were up in that game in Buffalo by eight in the NCAA tournament. Bohannon, rising fire, hits it again. Jason Bohannon. And, folks, Trayvon Hughes, the sophomore dynamic point guard for Wisconsin, has an ankle injury. He will not return in the first half. Curry. He'll be reevaluated at halftime. We talk about filling the role nicely. Jason Bohannon has come in, created for himself and others. Batted around. That one's picked up by the Wildcats. Here they come. Richards running the show. Along with Paulus Goslin. Curry deep. Rises. And it's. Uh oh. Young fella with nine points all from the three-point line coming into this tournament. I mean, coming into this game, he had hit 13 threes already in the tournament, and he's off to a quick start. And we said it before, he doesn't need much room. Just a little bit of daylight. Flowers pushes off and drills it. Raining threes in the Motor City so far. 24-23, Wisconsin. Ball knocked away. Stolen. Bohannon. Richards is back. He'll pull it out. Dump it down. The big fella. Brian Butch. And it bears repeating. Going back to Trayvon Hughes being hurt. Jason Bohannon comes in his place. And Jason Bohannon has had instant impact. 26-23. Curry. He's got all the tricks. <laughs> That's Dell's kid. I'm sure Dell's saying that also. <laughs> That's my boy. But that time, good patience had Brian Butch in his face. And recognizing Butch wasn't going to challenge him, he just rose up. He has 11 now. Talked to him yesterday. He said, I got my entire game, obviously, from my dad. As Flowers dips inside and banks one in. Flowers now with eight. Twenty-eight, twenty-five. Davidson, 10 of 17 from the field. That's 59%. Richards. Around the screen. Keeps his dribble alive. Almost turned it over. And he calls a timeout. 6.02 to play. First half. Stephen Curry. He can beat you from deep. He also has a mid-range game. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak 
somewhere in this town See me and the boys, we don't like it So we're getting up and going down I'm on this flight to Europe and I'm working on my meeting slides and I notice that my seat has this whole control panel that lets me get into this zen-like position and I get the remote and find that documentary everybody got to see but me because, well, all I do is work. And then I hit a button and my seat goes all the way flat. And there's a duvet. A duvet on a plane? I could so get used to this. The new international business class, only on American. We know why you fly. Welcome. Welcome to a brand new day. Welcome to a place where books rewrite themselves. Where you can drag and drop people wherever they want to go. Where maps are rewritten. And anyone can be famous. Where we're more powerful together than we ever could be apart. Cisco. Welcome to the Human Network. Game's on the line, and you're looking at a full count with 0.2 seconds left on the shot clock. The last thing you need to be worried about is your deodorant. That's why I use Old Spice. Old Spice is the bare knuckle, straight arm tackle, heavyweight deodorant that gives the best game, set, and match, high step, and sudden death, double overtime performance in the pit fight against the odor. Hey! From odor. Thanks, Old Spice. Tough meets classy. The stylish four-door Ridgeline built by Honda. Any piled high regular subway footlong, just five dollars. Five dollar footlongs. Hurry in. This celebration won't last long. At subway. Thank you very much, Greg, and a look at the game summary. Well, so much for defense. Both of these teams shooting well above 50%, and particularly from beyond the arc. Wisconsin at 50%, Davidson higher. And the story, we expect Stephen Curry to put points on the board, but again, filling in for the injured Trayvon Hughes, Jason Bohannon, the sixth man of the year in the Big Ten, has come on and had instant impact. But right there, jump shot by Jason Richards. Davidson doing a nice job, again, of establishing other players and keeping the Wisconsin defense honest. Jason Richards with eight points. Game tied at 28. Mohannon. And see, I was wondering when Wisconsin would start understanding that they need to try to make Stephen Curry play defense, which he just did on the steal. And coming off the bench, knocking down a jump shot is Brian Barr. He's from Maine. And his nickname is the White Lobster. 5.15 to play. First half. Davidson taking a 31-28 lead. And if they want to slow down Stephen Curry, they need to go to the man he's guarding, make him play defense, try to force him into some foul situations. And, you know, Wisconsin not really going to the guy that Curry's guarding. That's out of their system. Landry, baseline, flowers. Loose ball, batted around, picked up by Richards. Curry is guarding defensively Krabinoff. Now Richards, along with Lovedale, who checks back in. He's playing with two fouls. Barr, he can really stroke it, folks. Now Lovedale facing, firing, and hitting. Four points now for Lovedale. Timeout, Wisconsin. Davidson, 33. Wisconsin, 28.
It's easy to feel like you're on the same team when you stay at Sheraton. Starwood Preferred Guests earn star points regardless of what team they root for, so everybody wins. Exclusive video of A-Man Corner Live, plus 15 and 16 live, and bonus coverage of the entire field with Masters Extra at cbssports.com slash masterslive and masters.org. 429 to play first half. 33-28 Davidson, the Cinderella of the tournament with the lead over Wisconsin. A 10 versus a 3. Largest lead of the game now for Davidson. Here's Landry posting. Draws a double. Picks up his dribble. And he'll have to burn a timeout. That double team coming from nowhere. 4-12 to play. First half. Back to Detroit after this. You hear car. And what comes to mind? Okay, that's not car. And it's not two tons of metal, glass, and rubber. Car is the reason you got your license in the first place. The way you felt about your first car. And unlike other vehicles, car is all about you. And car is what makes a Pontiac a Pontiac. Like the first ever Pontiac G8 GT. The most powerful car under 30 grand. New prototype. Let's see what the skaters think. So if you're wondering how successful Michael Flowers has been in defending Stephen Curry, you take a look on Flowers' side, guarding Curry as a defender, five denials, keeping him from getting the ball on an attempt to get him the ball. And then Stephen Curry has gotten 14 touches. He's taken seven shots, made four of them, total of 11 points. And in the end, I, I think that it comes down to not just Flowers, but his team trying to help him. But it's been difficult simply because Davidson has distributed the ball nicely. They've established other guys as offensive players and made it hard for Wisconsin to totally deny Stephen Curry. Bohannon finally misses one. Here's Richards the other way, off the bounce to the cup, blocked! And it's recovered by Brian Butch. And I think right now, again, Flowers with the ball, Curry on him. They've got to find a way to get Flowers offensive opportunity. And like there he one. is. He knocks down a jumper. As you speak it, it comes out. That's another way to slow down a hot offensive player, forcing to play D. And look at this. It's like going around the carousel, merry-go-round, with Sanders on the ball and Curry just running around trying to find a screen that will free him. Bar, driving, cut off, Butch there. Now Richards runs a pick and roll with Sander. Lets it go from deep. Landry with the rebound. That's his fifth rebound. 33 to 31. Now you got a switch, a mismatch inside with Curry trying to front Krabenhoff, and nobody recognized. There you go. And that should be goaltending count the basket. And Butch got hit in the face. 2.43 to play. First half. We're all knotted up at 33. It's easy to feel like you're on the same team when you stay at Sheraton. Starwood Preferred Guests earn star points regardless of what team they root for. So everybody wins. Land Rover. Reserve your test drive today. March isn't the only month for madness. When it happens, I'm 100% there. State Farm, proud partner of the NCAA basketball tournament. Ball, please. 
Half price drinks at happy hour, man. Doesn't get any better, huh? You can't beat it. Mm -hmm. I didn't see you get two drinks. That's cool. Oh, yeah, mingling. It's happy hour. So I'm spending uh, a little bit of yeah. time with my cherry chocolate Diet Coke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you have uh, developing a hard relationship and with your... what uh, do we have going on over there? We have a uh, cherry chocolate Dr. Pepper, actually. And you're a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> happy hour at Sonic. All your favorite fountain drink and slush combinations half price every day from 2 to 4 p.m. And a perfect time to try our new Cine Snacks. It's not just good. It's Sonic good. Dude. 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 I just bought stock. You just saw me buy stock. No big deal. I mean, you know, if I can do it... Whoa. It's so easy, there are a thousand new accounts a day. At E-Trade. They say it's impossible for an underdog to go the distance. Then again, they said it's impossible to get real Coke taste and zero calories. Log on to MyCokeRewards.com and get lots of great NCAA gear. We've had seven ties and eight lead changes in this game, currently tied at 33. Wisconsin 11 of 22 from the field, 50%. And Davidson 13 of 22 from the field, 59%. And as you mentioned during the break when we were talking, Stephen Curry has to make a decision. Well, he certainly does, particularly on the defensive end. If Wisconsin were to go at the man he's guarding, he's got to decide whether he wants to take the chance to try to defend or pick up fouls. And right now, going at him has had some impact, although you saw him score right there. He's not just a jump shooter. Young man's a terrific basketball player. He's not afraid to go inside and take it to the basket as well. A lot of switching going on. And once again, Curry switched out on Kravenhoff. And Kravenhoff needs to post him up. Now Flowers circling, 10 to shoot. Here's a pick and roll with Butch. Remember, Butch can pop and fire. Flowers, Butch again, lets it go. Can't get the bounce, batted out, scooped up by Butch. And Wisconsin with the new, make that Krabenhoff, excuse me. And Wisconsin with a new shot clock. Give credit to Landry with the tip out. Flowers hard to the bucket. Bounce pass, Krabenhoff reverse. And again, Flowers going hard at Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry's got to decide whether he wants to cut him off. And Barr rattles another three. The White Lobster makes it a 36-35 game. And Look at those cheeks. <laughs> and Davidson <laughs> doing a great job of pushing it after a make. Again, trying to utilize their quickness. Butch again. Short again. Here come the Wildcats. Richards. They're looking for Curry. He's roaming the baseline. And look at Davidson. They'll push it up after a make. If they don't have numbers, they'll come down and be very patient in a half court. Much the same as Wisconsin likes to do. Curry around the screen, receives. Now Krabenhoff guarding him. He can take him off the dribble, but lets it go anyway. Krabenhoff at 6-7. Again, able to challenge Curry's shot, but he didn't miss that one by much. And again, that's a young shooter that has terrific form. And Curry. Once he gets it off. He's four of nine from the field, three of five from the three point line. Once he gets it off with that kind of form, that kind of arc, chances are good it's going to go. About a four second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Bohannon has had the touch from deep. He, he turns inside. Butch won the shoot and he's fouled on the way up. Four seconds remaining. First half. Prototype. Let's see what the skaters think. Is it working? It's better. Got a little revolution. Cause I won't better too. Call it my inspiration. 
Welcome to a network where instant feedback creates instant success. Cisco, welcome to the human network. What are you building, Stark? I'm working on something big. Yeah, I can fly. I just finally know what I have to do. It's easy to feel like you're on the same team when you stay at Sheraton. Starwood Preferred Guests earn star points regardless of what team they root for, so everybody wins. You hear car, and what comes to mind? Okay, that's not car, and it's not two tons of metal, glass, and rubber. Car is the reason you got your license in the first place. The way you felt about your first car. And unlike other vehicles, car is all about you. And car is what makes a Pontiac a Pontiac. Like the first ever Pontiac G8 GT. The most powerful car under 30 grand. You know, I'm not trying to micromanage, micromanage your finances, but I will tell you that my E-Trade savings account earns eight times the national average, so, you know. Earn eight times the national average. A thousand new accounts a day at E-Trade. They pick up their games, pick up their teams, and pick up the pace. Enterprise salutes NCAA student-athletes for picking us all up. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. And last night, the stars came out to play, and B.J. Raymond for the X-Men. Big shots in overtime. Tyler Hansbrough, tough time in the first half against Washington State, but came through. Kevin Love, dominant performance against Western Kentucky. And Earl Clark, a double-double against Tennessee as Louisville just dominated a team that a lot of folks thought would be able to make it, at least to that uh, regional final, Tennessee. But Louisville just playing absolutely terrific basketball. Davidson up by a point. Brian Butch at the line, misses the first free throw. Butch on the season, a 65% free throw shooter. Eight points in the first half thus far. And we're tied. Four seconds remaining in the first half. Here comes a sub as Steamsma comes in and replaces Butch. So Rossiter, the inbounder. He finds Richards quickly into the front court with time. Two to go. It's up. And off the top of the backboard. And at the end of the first half, we're tied at 36. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel in New York with AT&T at the half. After this message and a word from your local station, you're watching CBS Sports, home of the men's NCAA basketball championship. I'm John Wagner, uh, United States Air Force. I'm the, uh, the commander of the 45th Launch Support Squadron. You know, I've always wanted to be a part of the space program, and uh, you know, the Air Force is an exciting place to, to do just that. And most people don't realize the Air Force space program is equivalent to NASA in size and scope, and in most cases larger. And I've got three launches here in the next uh, 30 days, so if you want to be in the space program, the Air Force is a great way to do it. Learn more about our changing world at airforce.com. Millions of people have discovered a secret to truly healthy hair, and even the men are talking about it. Whatever was in that bottle worked. It made my hair feel amazing. It was like really shining. This is kind of weird because dudes don't really talk about their hair being soft. It feels good on the scalp. The scalp is happy. The hair is happy. I want to know. What is it? It's Advanced Head & Shoulders Shampoo and Conditioner. Really? Shut up. <laughs> when you think head and shoulders, you think dandruff. They live up their game, I guess. 
The Advanced Head & Shoulders Collection. Truly healthy hair starts at the scalp. Sometimes it's so hard to find what it is I'm trying to say. People might think you can turn creativity on and off, but it's not like that. It just kind of comes out. A mashup of all these things you collect in your mind. You never know when it's going to happen, but when it does, it's like magic. It's just that simple, and it's just that hard. Bring ideas to life with print projects designed with Gwen Stefani at hp.com slash Gwen. Regular Subway footlong, just $5. $5 footlongs. Hurry in. This celebration won't last long. At Subway. I just bought stock. You just saw me buy stock. No big deal. I mean, you know, if I can do it. Whoa. It's so easy. There are a thousand new accounts a day at E-Trade. You have given running your entire summer vacation. You have given running an hour before and an hour after practice, your Saturday mornings and your late night hangouts. And what has running given you? Just a half step in overtime. The 8508 with NB Zip Energy Return. The more you give, the more you get. Love running more. Davidson trying to pull a George Mason to make it to the Elite Eight as a double-digit seed. Welcome to AT&T at the half year on March Madness On Demand. Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you. You know this face, Norm Roberts, St. John's. He's been with us all throughout the tournament. This is a fresh one. Glad to have Kevin Willard of Iona joining us here at the half. It's uh, good to have you here. Yeah, it's good to be here. Have you enjoyed two TVs in front of you and a desk yeah, in the It's court? great. It's usually uh, you're sitting at a bar watching these games. Now all of a sudden... Uh you know, sitting here watching it and analyzing, it's a little different, but two great basketball games so far. Absolutely. Let's get to the first one, which you're watching. Wisconsin and Davidson tied at 36 at the half. And uh, when you look at this game and the, the way it's gone, uh, we'll, we'll start with the fresh face, shall we? Normally start with Kevin. All about the three so far. Yeah, I mean, the three-point line has really been the key, and it's the one neutralizer that all mid-majors have over, uh, over big powers. And the three-point line, if you don't defend the three-point line, if you're Wisconsin, they're going to lose. I mean... Stephen Curry's tremendous, Richards is making. So, I mean, I think the big thing is you can defend the three-point line. Uh, Norm, when you look at what has happened so far for Davidson, the fact that they're just shooting the lights out, it, what has impressed you the most about how they've done it? Well, they, they've spread it around. There's different guys scoring all over. Jason Richards has done well. Sanders has done well. They really have a lot of guys that can score, and obviously, obviously Curry can really shoot it. Now, now, that's the one thing that still uh, I guess I have a question about. As coaches, you know going into this game, and it happened obviously in the first two rounds, that Stephen Curry is going to be the guy getting the ball 70 points in the first two rounds. Unbelievable first week, and yet he is still getting open looks. How does that happen? Well, I think one of the things is he moves like Rip Hamilton does for the Detroit Pistons. He's always on the move. So as a defender, once you think you have him and you relax, he boom, he's right back off another screen, and he shoots it so quick. I think that's one of the most impressive things about the young man is he gets it off so quick, and I think that's the key to him. He's always moving without the ball. Yeah, that's been a big part as well. And again, remember, you only see 11 points here in the first half, but let's remind you real quickly, first half of the first game this season against Gonzaga in the tournament, he had 10, he finished with 40. First half against uh, Georgetown, he had 5, he finished with 30. So that 11 could very quickly turn into 30, 35, or 40 sometime in the second half. Yeah, no question, especially since I think he wears down his defenders more than anybody else. I think you know, he doesn't get tired as the game goes on since he moves so much. His defender gets tired, and again, you know, that's when he really gets you. Norm, are you surprised right now that it's a tie ball game? No, because they're very, very similar teams. They both run motion offense. They're all coming off screens. Their big guys can all shoot. Davidson has no fear. They have no fear at all. They started off the game shooting the ball well, and they know who to get the ball to. Curry. And that's exactly who's led the team so far for the Wildcats and uh, Coach Bob McKillop. Again, 36 all at the half. Real quickly, let's get into the other game going on right now. Texas and Stanford, the 2-3 matchup in the South. And uh, uh, Kevin, when you look at this, Texas has scored more points in the paint than Stanford. How have they done it? Yeah, it's, it's surprising, but I think what Texas has done and what they need to continue to do 
is run up and down the floor. They can't stay there and, and bang against the Lopez twins. It's just not going to work. So they're going to use their quickness. They're going to try to get out on the break and get easy buckets that way. I think that they try to go inside and just bang and bang and bang. It's not going to work. So they've used their quickness so far, and it's working well for them. 25-18 right now in the first half with five and a half minutes to go. And uh, Norm, Stanford really struggling from the floor, just six of 22 in the first 14 and a half minutes. But how have they managed to stay within single digits? Well, they stay within single digits because they're getting to the line and they're attacking the basket and they're not shooting the ball extremely well, but they're getting to the line, they're rebounding, and they're scoring in close to the basket. All right, so again, that is now an eight-point game. Justin Mason having a good stat line. A.J. Abrams has hit a couple of threes, and of course he's coming off the 26-point performance in round one and round two. Those are the games going on right now. We will keep you posted on the games coming up later on tonight. We'll get to know the one verse 12 and the one verse 5 that are going to happen uh, after these two ball games. That all after this break here on AT&T at the half. All right, your business. Well, it looks like it's humming right along, which is great. But you've got bigger plans. You want to go global. Well, with UPS, you'll get expert help with express shipping, air freight, even customs clearance. And international returns? It's easy. It's not just your business. It's your global business with UPS. Let's turn this up a little. You sure can brew it. Question is, can you sell it? Made our first sale. More bars in more places. <laughs> Wherever business takes you, depend on AT&T, the network you can trust. Am I going too fast for you? We got to celebrate. We got to expand. <laughs> Switch to AT&T. Your world delivered. So, what kind of financial help are you looking for? Maybe you need insurance to help protect you. Benefits to help your business reach new heights. Or a retirement plan to invest for the future. Then again, maybe there's someone who can help with all of those things. The Principal Financial Group will give you an edge. felt about car as a kid? We do. Introducing the first ever Pontiac GA GT, the most powerful car under 30 grand. And welcome back to AT&T at the half here on March Madness On Demand. Jason Horwitz, Norm Roberts, Kevin Willard. Glad to be with you folks on your computer screen. Of course, Wisconsin and Davidson tied at the half. We won't let you miss any of the second half action, we promise. Let's talk about the other games coming up tonight. Both one seeds that are still left at least to play in the Sweet 16 are coming up tonight. The other pair of one seeds, North Carolina and UCLA have already advanced to the Elite Eight. Let's talk about Kansas first. And uh, Norm, we'll start with you. You used to be an assistant there. They're taking on Villanova. And, of course, you've played Villanova this year in the Big East. What do the Wildcats have to do to beat the Jayhawks? Well, it's all about guard play t uh, tonight, and, and they're going to really need their guards to play well. Scotty Reynolds is going to have to have a big, big night. Corey Fisher is going to have to play well, but Kansas has got – three or four guards that can really come at you with Russell Robinson and Mario Chalmers and Sharon Collins, who may be the best one of all of them. And the other part to this game, uh, you know, a very balanced attack for Kansas, uh, you know, Darnell Jackson there and Chalmers. Uh, Kevin, when you look at Kansas and the fact that they are good inside as well, it's not just Jackson, but it's also Arthur and, and, and Sasha Khan. Can Villanova play a half-court game with them? Well, I think one thing that Villanova does a good job of is, is creating mismatches on offense and really forces them to adapt to to them. I mean, you know, they play a small lineup. They play fast. Uh, I think the one thing about Kansas is uh, Brandon Rush is just a, such a terrific basketball player. I think he's the one name that doesn't get mentioned enough uh, for player of the year. I mean, I think he's the one guy that really keeps them going. I mean, he's just a terrific basketball player. Scores inside and out and does, it, and does everything uh, extremely well. I think the, the biggest thing he's done, I mean, he scores 15 points a game. He gets six rebounds. Uh, he's shooting the basketball well. I think he's taking great shots. And he defends overly well. I think he's bought into the defensive system more than anything, and he keeps them going. 
and, and Kansas, of course, led by a lot of guys in the backcourt. It's not just Rush. It's, you, you know, you talked about the backcourt for Villanova, but it's the huge backcourt as well for Kansas. They're so deep, and they just keep coming at you. Well, that's the one thing they're going to do. They are going to pressure, pressure, pressure. And Villanova has had times this year when they've really turned the ball over uh, quite a bit, and Kansas is going to force them into turnovers. Darrell Arthur is going to be a big key in this game because he can really score inside, and I don't really know if Villanova has anybody to match up with. Him. All right, so Villanova will try to become the first 12 to ever beat a one in the NCAA tournament. Western Kentucky could not do it on Thursday night. We'll see if the Wildcats can do it here on Friday, that game in Detroit after Wisconsin and Davidson, about a half hour after that one. We're going to take a quick break here on AT&T at the half on MMOD, but when we come back, talk about the other night game and the other one seed, Memphis. Will they get upset by Michigan State? We'll talk about it when we come back. The new Lexus ISF. It's everything you thought we weren't. It's Outback's 20th Bloomin' Birthday. Let's celebrate. Let's go out back tonight. Our present to you, our new char-grilled Tuscan ribeye seasoned with fresh herbs. Our bold new sirloin shrimp and scallops mixed grill. And our signature Outback special sirloin, thick and juicy. Classic favourites and new creations. Let's go out back tonight. Here for a limited time only. Before the party's over. Don't miss the celebration. I'm Seth Davis of CBS Sports. The most exciting moments and memories from tournaments past and present are on NCAA March Madness highlights with Comcast On Demand. The best action from all 63 NCAA Division I men's basketball championship games on CBS Sports. And incredible historic moments anytime you want. All available in standard and high definition from Comcast and CBS Sports. So don't miss a beat. Go to Channel One On Demand from Comcast now and start living March Madness. Still waiting, carry all those. Nah. 1990. UConn trailed Clemson by one point with just one second to play. But Tate George snatched the inbound pass and threw up a prayer that was answered emphatically by the sound of leather hitting nylon, claiming a victory no one thought was possible. Son, you got this. Never back down. The man real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Texas ISF. It's everything you thought we weren't. Just a few minutes away from the second half of Wisconsin and Davidson here on MMOD. We won't let you miss any of the action, but glad you could be with us here on AT&T at the half. The other game coming up later on tonight, we've already talked about Kansas and Villanova. Let's talk about Michigan State and Memphis. And uh, Coach Willard, when you look at this game, what does Michigan State have to do to, to combat the length that Memphis has? Because that's what Tom Izzo has said is his biggest concern. Well, I think the biggest thing Michigan State has to do, they really have to slow down Memphis make it a half-court game, grind it out, play their style of basketball, put the football helmets on, put the, put the shoulder pads on and go to war. They can't get into a track meet with Memphis. If they get in a track meet with Memphis, it's going to be a long night for them. If they can slow it down, I think that combats the length very well. Uh, Norm, you had a stint at Illinois as an assistant with Bill Self and, of course, played Tom Izzo in the Big Ten. His style is very much like that, and, of course, he's got all the experience of getting to the Final Four. When he looks at this tape, does he say that his athletes can play with Memphis? Well, they've got great athletes over there at Michigan State, too, but I'm telling you, it's going to be physical, physical, physical. Knock them down. Don't let them go where they want to go. Attack the offensive glass. That's going to be a big key for Memphis because Michigan State is known for attacking the offensive glass. Drew Nitzel is going to have to control tempo and those things, and if he can do that and they can control Temple, that can really hurt Memphis because Memphis hasn't played against a team like Michigan State. Well, they won the first round this year against Temple, and Knights only had five points. Can they do that if he, only, if he has a bad game this one? Well, yeah, if he's sharing the basketball and getting other people involved. Ramar Morgan's very important for them, too. But, you know, Michigan State, they got an assortment of guys that can score. Well, Raymar Morgan had a poor game in the second game against Pittsburgh. So, so they've each had a, a bad game. Maybe they've gotten it uh, out of their system. Uh, real quickly, who do you like to win, Memphis or Michigan State? I'm actually taking Michigan State. You're going to take Michigan State? Yeah, I'm going to go in uh, 
the long shot here because I think they have I think the physicality that they play with in and uh, Coach Roberts and I were talking about before about the Big East. I think that Michigan State does the same thing in their league. It's the fact that they play a very tough physical style. I think it's going to help them out in the long run. And I think Tom Izzo is a, a great game coach. He's experienced in the tournament, and I really like I like Michigan State today. All right, you like Michigan State. Do you like Michigan State? I like Michigan State, but I will tell you this. they got to shoot it well to win. And free throws. Speaking of shooting, that's something we haven't even talked about. Memphis, uh, horrible at it. Uh, let's see if that play, plays a, a, a role in this one as well. Uh, as a coach, would you think about following from the opening tip? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but I think it, it really turns into a big factor down the stretch. I mean, you know, Joey Dorsey struggles. I mean, they all struggle. It's crazy for such being such talented players. Sometimes it gets mental. Uh, at, the end of, at the end of the game, though, I mean, in tight games, you got to make your free throws. Yeah, absolutely. All There's right. going to be some fouls. Yeah, well, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. <laughs> yeah, physical game. You'll see some fouls, and you'll see some hard ones down the stretch. Make them make some free throws uh, and, and earn some free points. Five times all four one seeds since the tournament expanded have made it to the Elite Eight. Memphis, of course, has to win, and Kansas has to win tonight for that, to make number, that number to become six. We'll see if it all happens. Wisconsin and Davidson tied at 36 apiece. See if the Wildcats can move on to the Elite Eight themselves for the first time since 1969. Get back to the second half of the Badgers and the Wildcats right after this break. March isn't the only month for madness. When it happens, I'm 100% there. State Farm, proud partner of the NCAA Basketball Tournament. Ball, please. The game's on the line, and you're looking at a full count with 0.2 seconds left on the shot clock. The last thing you need to be worried about is your deodorant. That's why I use Old Spice. Old Spice is the bare knuckle, straight arm tackle, heavyweight deodorant that gives the best game, set, and match, high step, and sudden death, double overtime performance in the pit fight against the odor. Hey! From odor. Thanks, Old Spice. Investing on my own? That's been okay. I guess. Look, here's the thing. You got your tools and your research and all that, and you're definitely not paying Wall Street prices, but I could really use some decent input here, you know? Have someone look over my shoulder, give me some advice. Who am I going to talk to? My website? for car has never been more real. Introducing the first ever Pontiac G8 GT, the most powerful car under 30 grand. At Comcast, we love math. For instance, Comcast offers more than double the HD programming of DirecTV. The converse is also true. DirecTV offers less than half the HD programming of Comcast. Nice one, math. Welcome back. Our score at halftime, Davidson at 10, 36, Wisconsin, 36. Gus Johnson along with Len Elmore, as advertised, Stephen Curry, a terrific basketball player. Well, he certainly is. Davidson's done a terrific job of establishing in its offense, and it all begins with Stephen Curry, who all he needs is a little bit of daylight, even hitting challenge shots. But Michael Flowers doing a terrific job on his own. 
again, running around a number of screens, getting hands on the ball, and really bothering Curry for the most part. Here is the in-game box score powered by CBS College Sports Network, the 24-hour college sports channel from CBS Sports. Well, against one of the nation's top defenses, Davidson just shooting lights out 54%, and obviously it's not just Stephen Curry. Davidson has established other players as well, and for Wisconsin, Michael Flowers doing a pretty good job himself offensively, and I think, again, it really comes down to making Davidson play a little more defense. A couple of quick shots by Wisconsin has kind of hurt them. So the big story for Wisconsin in that first half, Trayvon Hughes injured his foot. We initially thought it was an ankle, but it turns out to be a foot. He will not start the second half, but he will be available. And you talk about a key development. Obviously, Hughes, if he's not available to come back, puts a lot of pressure on the rotation for uh, Bo Ryan. If he gets, if Flowers gets in foul trouble, it really gets into the depth of the Wisconsin guards. So Hughes in that first half playing only eight minutes. 0 for 3 from the field. No points. <clears throat> Start of the second half. Davidson, the Cinderella of the tournament. A 10. Here's Curry straight away. Sh uh, taking on the Wisconsin Badgers, a number three seed. Our score tied at 36 at halftime. Stephen Curry with a big first half for Davidson. He averages 26 a game. He has 11 points on four of nine shooting, three of five from the three-point line. He's the big story for Davidson. Meanwhile, for Wisconsin, they're playing without their star point guard, Trayvon Hughes, who was limited to only eight minutes of action in the first half, 0 for 3 from the field, no points, no assists. He has an injured foot, but he will be available uh, here in the second half. Officials looking at a replay, trying to see if the ball hit the rim. It appears that it did, just barely. But in that first half, Gus, both teams playing to their strengths. Davidson with their quickness. Five Wisconsin turnovers. Davidson getting 10 points off of those turnovers, including 11 fast break points. And Wisconsin with their size advantage inside, eight offensive rebounds, 15 second chance points. And in that first half, we had eight ties and 10 lead changes. Your officials, David Hall, Tom Eads, and Paul Faya. And the officials determining that the ball did hit the rim have reset the shot clock. The shot clock on the right side of your screen. Ball hits the rim. Now it should reset to 35. Now the officials are figuring, okay, once they've established that it should reset, how much time lapsed before they recognized it? And it looks like only two seconds, so 33 seconds on the shot clock. So here come the Wildcats from Davidson. They have won a school record 24 in a row, the longest winning streak in the country. They advance to the Sweet 16 by defeating Gonzaga in the first round and Georgetown in the second. And so much for the playing on a football stadium floor and the depth perception problems because Davidson shooting lights out 54%. You see the steal there away from Stephen Curry. As the third turnover for Davidson this evening. So here comes Wisconsin, 31-4. and four. They won the Big East regular season and tournament title. 16-2 and two in conference play. Butch, their leading scorer and rebounder, turns it over. Lead pass, Lovedale, the Nigerian, and he is fouled going to the basket. So the winner of this basketball game will take on the winner of our next game between Kansas and Villanova. Kansas, the top seed in the Midwest. Villanova out of the Big East Conference. They feature a very special player in Scotty Reynolds. Their star guard. That last turnover by Wisconsin was out of the effort to try to get the ball inside to Marcus Landry. And I think Wisconsin, again, looking to try to establish themselves inside, utilizing their size advantage. Here's Curry on the baseline, fires. Off the mark, rebounded by Butch. So Curry, 4-4, four, four, 11 from the field. Butch fires. Again, a quick shot, not establishing themselves. And that quick shot 
Turns into a fast break. Xander. And he will go to the line and shoot one. Instead of establishing inside, the quick shot by Butch turns into a fast break situation. And Butch, because he's outside on the perimeter, has to be that last line of defense. He creates the foul. And might have been a good foul. Make Thomas Sander earn it. Only 53% from the free throw line. But again, instead of looking inside, playing the normally patient Wisconsin type of offense, quick shots have gotten the Badgers in some trouble. Wow, look at that offensive rebound by Paulus Goslin. Curry fires and knocks one down. Stephen Curry with 13 points. Davidson takes a 40-36 to lead, and that'll set up the half-court press. So here's Flower in the game now. Steamsman, number 34, with it. Lobs it to Landry. He can't hold on. Here's Curry. Richards. Curry spots up. Let's it fly. Boy, that was quick even by Curry's standards. And Minnow comes up with the rebound. And something's got to give between one of the best perimeter defenders and one of the best scorers in the nation. And Michael Flores trying to do his best against Stephen Curry. 21 touches by Curry, 12 field goal attempts. But Flowers doing an admirable here. job. So here comes Trayvon Hughes. He's playing with that tender foot. We haven't been told which foot it is. I believe it's the right foot. Inside, Curry, circus shot, no. And that was physical defense right there by Joe Kravenhoff with the bump. And, and that's the one thing with Stephen Curry when you watch him. If he takes a little bit of a bump, he's going to fall off balance. He's got a way to square his shoulders and still get off a good shot. Curry 5 of 13 inside. And this is a foul coming up as Steamsma attacked the basket and draws contact. And I tell you what, Gus, one of the things that you can see right now, the strategy of Davidson is to make... Wisconsin earn everything. You take a look at Butch, just shed the defender. And they're going to foul guys going to the basket, not allow them to get easy ones, make them earn it on the free throw line. So Steph Curry picks up his first foul, and that sends Greg Steamsman to the line. Senior from Randolph, Wisconsin, as he hits the first one. Don't forget, coming up Sunday at 9, 8 Central, a new episode of Cold Case. 40 to 38. And here comes Richards into the front court, runs a pick and roll. Back door, nice play and a foul as Paulus Goslin beat his man to the basket and will go to the line. You got to marvel at the movement without the ball by Davidson. Again, getting guys open and, and pushing it up the floor, not allowing the Wisconsin defense to get set. Look at number 14 right there, just a quick, not even a backdoor cut, kind of a curl. Gets in front of his man and gets an opportunity to basket. So Max Paulus Goslin, the junior from Quebec, is a defensive stopper on this team. They call him the pest, and he hit two huge shots on the baseline against Gonzaga. And that second free throw going down. Here comes a sub. Lovedale comes into the game, and he replaces Thomas Sander. 42-38. to 38. Bohannon picked up the foul as second. Now that sets up the press for Davidson. What are they trying to get out of this against Wisconsin? Well, Davidson wants to speed the game up, recognizing that Wisconsin has turned the ball over more times than you would expect, and they've gotten points off those turnovers. Wisconsin has turned it over seven times. They turn it over 12.2 times per game on the season. Here's a pick and roll. Flowers lets it go from deep. That one rims off. And middle. With a tough rebound and a reach-in foul coming up on Kravenhoff. And again, very uncharacteristic of Wisconsin fouling the rebound. And once he gets possession, you see the shot again, not even exploring inside. Not trying to go inside out, but a straight shot from beyond the arc. And there, trying to tie up the, the rebounder, which at this point in the game is really not necessary. You get back and play defense if you're Joe Kravenhoff instead of wasting a foul. And folks, keep your eye on this stat. Wisconsin with 16.54 to play in the second half, already with five team fouls. Davidson as a team, 72%. Lovedale from Richards, who put that one on a dime. 44-38. Largest lead of the game for Davidson. So here comes Flower.
Hughes. Flowers again. Nine to shoot. To the basket. That's Pearls. Much too much handle. Mm. Throws well, it out of bounds. Eight turnovers now for the Badgers. Last basket. Again, movement without the ball. You got so much stuff going on the right side. Richards draws the defenders. And obviously a wide open man. As he's able to find him. Eight assists on the year. He has. Game. And he has seven right now. And the leading assist man in the nation. And it's really the ball movement, getting Curry occupied, getting the defenses focused on him that creates the opportunities. 15.57 to play, second half. Back to Detroit after this. So, I'm on this flight to Europe, and I'm working on my meeting slides, and I notice that my seat has this whole control panel that lets me get into this zen-like position. And I get the remote and find that documentary everybody got to see but me because, well, all I do is work. And then I hit a button and my seat goes all the way flat. And there's a duvet. A duvet on a plane? I could so get used to this. The new international business class. Only on American. We know why you fly. In these ruins, a legendary evil has been waiting. We could be walking through an ancient graveyard right now. Oh, that's great, Eric. Now, five explorers will unleash here. the curse. Forth. It's me. The only way out ah, is to solve the mystery of the ruins. Rated R. See more at ruinsmovie.com. sits before you is one heavy-duty Gator XUV. There's not a job too tough for its four-wheel drive and independent rear suspension. A machine like this has no business being locked up. It belongs outdoors, forging new trails through the dirt and the mud. The only question is, who's going to turn it loose? Will it be you? Rough meets smooth. Four-wheel independent suspension, the Ridgeline, built by Honda. I just bought stock. You just saw me buy stock. No big deal. I mean, you know, if I can do it... Whoa. It's so easy, there are a thousand new accounts a day. At E-Trade. NCAA March Madness Central, powered by the first-ever Pontiac G8, is your home for live look-ins. In-game highlights and more throughout the tournament. Check it out only on the CBS College Sports Network. Well, one of the keys for Davidson was to be able to establish other guys besides Stephen Curry. And you take a look, Brian Barr, Jason Richards, all chipping in to support Stephen Curry. And for Davidson, seven of the nine guys in their rotation have scored. That puts a lot of pressure on the Wisconsin defense because you cannot load up on Stephen Curry if other guys are capable of putting the ball in the basket. So Curry at the line, 13 points tonight, 5 of 14 from the field, 3 of 7 from the three-point line. And that is his first free throw attempt of the evening. Points off turnovers. Very interesting stat. Wisconsin throwing it away today. Eight turnovers for the Badgers. And, and that sets up the pressure. And that's why Davidson persists in the pressure, knowing that Wisconsin right now turnover prone. Got Jason Bohannon, even though he's sixth man of the year in the Big Ten. Again, he's not Trayvon Hughes. And they're looking to try to really put pressure on the Wisconsin guards. Now Flowers along with Landry, Krabinoff, Steamsma, and Bohannon. Nine to shoot as Bohannon sets it up, guarded by Curry, reaching. Here's the screen, Bohannon curling to the basket, and he'll go to the line. 
And that's what Wisconsin has to do. Instead of settling for jump shots, they've got the size. They've got the ability to put the ball on the floor. They've got to put pressure on the Davidson D. And you take a look, the try for the steal right there, the lane to go to the hole, and Bohannon takes the contact. you got to attack if you're Wisconsin. So Menno picks up the foul, and Jason Bohannon, the sophomore from Marion, Iowa, he comes from a athletic family. His dad, Gordy, was the quarterback on the 1981 Iowa Rose Bowl team. And according to his coaches, in order for this Wisconsin team to play well, he's got to hit threes, and he's doing other things to really improve his game, meaning sliding his feet on defense as well. So he has really improved this season. Well, he's certainly given Wisconsin a lift. And he's the last guy you want on the free throw line, shooting about 96%, leading the Big Ten in free throw percentage. And the foul on the made free throw will go against Greg Steemsma as he shot an elbow, I believe, to Curry. And that is team foul number six. Let's take another look at what happened at the free throw line. Take a look, Steemsma, right there in the front. He's got that forearm. Actually he gave that forearm to Archambault. So Archambault now at the free throw line. And Steamsma will go to the bench, replaced by Butch. He leaves after picking up his second foul. I like the way Flowers went over there and told Steamsma probably just stay tough. Seven fouls now called against Wisconsin. Davidson shooting one and one as Archambault misses the front end. We have 15 17 to play in the second half. Now Landry kicking flowers. Extra pass. Crabbing off. Ten to shoot. Crabbing off. Ah. Uh, he rattles it home for three. Again, excellent ball movement. Exploration inside, but still inside out off the bounce. Crabbing off with seven. Now Richards. So crafty with the ball. Great vision. Curry off the window high and in. I'll tell you what, though. Brian Butch switched out on Curry. His hands, instead of extending himself, his hands are going to Curry's chest instead of above trying to get in his face. And Curry, that's all the daylight he needs. Take a look at Brian Butch's defense. You'll see Curry run off some screens. Butch will ultimately be the one that faces him. Look where his hands go. They go to his chest and not his face. Meanwhile, the second foul called on Richards. 48 to 43, Davidson. Flowers. Butch wants it inside. They miss him. And a whistle away from the ball. I think the foul is on Thomas Sander again. Trying to play physical play down low defensively. Second foul on Sander, but... That's what happens when you start looking inside. You start isolating that defender. And if he's pushing and holding, the officials are going to look at him. Too often, Wisconsin has taken a quick look and gone away from him and not giving the officials a chance to focus in on what the defenders are doing to keep the ball from going inside. See, there's the look right there. And officials make the call. So Sander will pick up his third foul just like that. 14.05 to play. Sunday on 60 Minutes, a baseball genius who helped win the World Series. What are his secrets? Find out Sunday on 60 Minutes. Davidson is led by as many as eight. Wisconsin by as many as three. Landry posting. Draws a double, dribbles out of it. He's bumped by Lovedale, and he'll pick up his third. Now, Gus, three times in a row now, Wisconsin has taken the patience to look inside and then move guys away from the postman and allowing him probably to go one-on-one. -on -one. You take a look at Bo Ryan right there, recognizing that he absolutely needs to start getting the ball inside, putting pressure on the Davidson defense. Landry now to the basket. Turnaround jumper. Got it. 
defense. I think this is what Wisconsin would call Badger basketball. That's right. Let's pound you into submission. Get you in foul trouble. Landry with six. Curry lets it go again. And <laughs> I told you, just a little bit of daylight, just a sliver. That's all, all that he young needs. Man needs. Just like his old man. 51 45. Curry has 20. Better get a hand in his face and draw the shades. Now Butch posting. Crabbing off. Strip picked up. Richards, he's got Curry on the wing. He's going to spot up. There he goes. Oh, he lets it fly again. And a rips it. Folks, we got a star in the Motor City. 54 to 45. Davidson with its largest lead of the game. Time out, Wisconsin. The young fella rising and hitting. Prototype. Let's see what the skaters think. Is it working? It's better. Got a little revolution. Cause I don't know better to call it my inspiration. Welcome to a network where instant feedback creates instant success. Yeah. Cisco, welcome to the human network. It's easy to feel like you're on the same team when you stay at Sheraton. Starwood preferred guests earn star points regardless of what team they root for. So everybody wins. What are you building, Stark? I'm working on something big. I can fly. I just finally know what I have to do. Investing on my own? That's been okay. I guess. But here's the thing. You got your tools and your research and all that. And you're definitely not paying Wall Street prices. But I could really use some decent input here, you know? Have some look over my shoulder, give me some advice. Who am I going to talk to? My website? Well, so much for our depth perception bothering the shooters out here, particularly Stephen Curry. You look at him averaging 33 points in three tournament games tonight, 23, 8 of 17, 5 of 9 from beyond the arc. There's a big-time basketball player in attendance. LeBron James is in the Davidson section. He has been invited to watch the game by the Davidson basketball team. Inside, and a tie-up coming up. And there he is, one of the best basketball players on the planet, LeBron James of the Cleveland Cavaliers. An invited guest of Davidson, sitting in the, or near the student section. I know my... So Krabinoff will inbound it. Flowers, Bohannon, Butch, Landry. It's important answer time for Wisconsin. Almost a steal. That one goes over the head. And out of bounds. And there's an injured Badger at midcourt. That's Flowers. 
May have banged his shoulder or elbow going up for that ball as Wisconsin throws it away for the 10th time. And considering that uh, with Trayvon Hughes being injured and not getting much time here in the second half, Flowers recognizes how shorthanded Wisconsin is defensively in the guard position or shorthanded in total from the guard position. He bounced right back up. Rossiter has checked in along with Richards, the point guard with it now. Curry, Menno, and Paulus Goslin. Curry popping out on the wing. More than at any other time, it's time for Wisconsin to try to get the ball out of Curry's hands. Flowers in his hip pocket. Richards lets it go. And hits. And this is what I spoke about, establishing other guys. You try to take the ball out of Curry's hands, guys are backing off, trying to help out. And a steal. Meadow takes it away from Flowers. Curry dumps it down. And then trying to help out, leaving other guys wide open. There's a little bit of daylight. And the crowd almost expects it to go in every time it leaves the young man's hand. Richards. He'll back it up and restart. And with this kind of lead, 12-point lead, it's easy for Davidson now to play very deliberately, try to get the ball where they need it. Richards, long jump shot, no good. Loose ball. Meadow with the loose chains. He can't lay it down. Bat it around. Paul is Gosling to Richards. And that will not count. It's a shot clock violation. 11-16 to play. In the second half, Davidson with the lead. Regular Subway footlong, just $5. $5 footlongs. Hurry in. This celebration won't last long. Subway. Welcome. Welcome to a brand new day. Welcome to a place where books rewrite themselves. Where you can drag and drop people wherever they High regular subway footlong, just five dollars. Five dollar footlongs. Hurry in. This celebration won't last long. Welcome. Welcome to a brand new day. Welcome to a place where books rewrite themselves. Where you can drag and drop people wherever they want to go. Where maps are rewritten. And anyone can be famous. Where we're more powerful together than we ever could be apart. Cisco, welcome to the human network. The world is mine. The world is mine. The world is mine. The world is mine. Every day is a new chance to show the world how phenomenal you can be. Start today with the confidence you get from Gillette Fusion Power Phenom. Fusion Power soothing micropulses help you reduce friction so you barely feel the blades. Try the world's most comfortable shave. Fusion Power. That's the best a man can get. Like, oh my God, that's Scotchman. Oh my God, is that your dad? Yeah, it's, it's my dad. Yes, I no, will. You're not going to. Let's go. Uh, maybe you're right. 1995. Down one to Missouri with seconds to play. UCLA was staring defeat straight in the eye. But the smallest man on the court made the game's most gargantuan shot as Ty Ascendi lifted a game clinching buzzer beater over a towering 6 8 defender. A play that common sense said there was no way he could make. Let's bring it home, Steve. Never back down. Demand real Coca Cola taste and zero calories. High regular subway footlong, just five dollars. Five dollar footlongs. Hurry in. This celebration won't last long. At subway. Thanks, Greg. 11 16 to play. Second half. Davidson a 10 against Wisconsin a three. 
And Davidson with its largest lead of the game. Wisconsin 100% Lenny out of sync. How do they get back in sync offensively? Well, I think offensively it begins on the defensive end. They've got to be able to string together some stops. And certainly on the other side, on the offensive end, get as patient as they can, try to draw some fouls, try to get some buckets that are easy buckets. Instead, it's Davidson with the easy buckets. 12 turnovers by Wisconsin, only four for Davidson, and 18 points off the turnovers for, for Davidson. So they're the ones that have gotten the easy baskets. And they've got 11 more field goal attempts than Wisconsin, primarily due to the turnovers. And the more shots you give a team like Davidson, who shoots it so well, the deeper a hole you dig yourself in if you're Wisconsin. Ten to shoot. Davidson on a 9-0 run in the last two minutes and 16 seconds. Curry, four to shoot. He's got a fire and does. And heads! That's another three for Stephen Curry and Davidson. Takes a 60 to 45 lead inside Butch. Nice catch, and he's fouled. What an incredible score as we take a look at the game summary by half. Well, Davidson left, picked up where they left off in the first half from the field, and Stephen Curry just still pouring it on right now, letting the game come to him, taking the shots that he likes. And Wisconsin doing everything they can to put a blanket on him, and they just can't seem to catch him. As Butch misses the free throw, Lovedale and Sander come back in. But Stephen Curry, he had 11 points at halftime. He has 26 now for Davidson, right at his season average. Remember, he had 30 against Georgetown 25 in the second half he had 40 against Gonzaga and the winner of this game takes on the winner of our second game between Kansas and Villanova that's an offensive foul as Flowers slides in and takes a charge and Bob McKillop cannot believe the call one of the few times in a one-on-one -on -one situation that Flowers has gotten a benefit just anticipated Curry going to the right and took that position that's one stop but the missed free throws with only a little less than 10 minutes remaining. You know, that's pretty tough for Wisconsin. Time is ticking away. They're not the type of offense that's going to come back at you in an explosive manner. They've got to be able to make stops on the defensive end like they did just then and then answer those stops with some buckets. It's the pace of Wisconsin that can help them, but in a situation like this when you're down 15, certainly hurts you. you got to be able to quicken the pace now, get better shots. Flowers doing a lot of dribbling. Richards right on him, almost stolen. Running jump shot, that's an air ball. The stick back won't go the first time, nor the second. And a whistle and foul on the baseline. And how about Davidson just battling and battling? Forcing Wisconsin to just get in there and, and almost scrap for the baskets. Wisconsin is the team that has the better size inside. And really, they've been forced to scrap for every basket they can get here in the second half. Third foul on Curry. And Flowers makes the first. Don't forget, coming up, a new episode returns Thursday at 9, 8 central of CSI, TV's most watched drama. Now that... Second free throw, no good. 60-46. Here comes Richards. Finds a cutting Curry. Oh, my goodness. Ha, <laughs> ha, young fella. Stephen Curry doing his best Spider-Man imitation. Just take a look right here. Watch him gyrate. Might be an English major at Davidson. No doubt about it. Applying some of that on the backboard. 28 points, 17 in the second half, and make it 29. Curry giving him numbers. He'll check out, take a quick blow with 9-10 to play. In the second half, Davidson... Running Wisconsin out of the gym. 
17-point lead, you can afford to rest your best player and continue to apply the pressure as Wisconsin just having all sorts of problems scoring, even when they're freebies on the line. Flowers spinning inside. Flipped up a bad shot, tipped up and in, though, by Steemsma. Davidson continues after a make to push it up the floor to explore that Davidson D, not allow it to get set. That one knocked out of bounds, last touched by the Badgers. And that's kind of what they did in the first half. It put the pressure on Wisconsin, and Wisconsin is bending. Inside. That's Barr. He can't get it to go. And here come the Badgers. Somebody's got to step up for Wisconsin. They need some offense. Flowers has been doing a lot by himself. Bohannon was hot in the first half with three threes. Baseline jump shot up. No good for Steamsma. And that's one of the problems with Wisconsin. Despite the size they have, they don't have guys who are just straight-out post guys who will establish post position. Landry might be the best of them. The other big guys for Wisconsin rather shoot the three, not comfortable down on the low block. And this is not a time when you want guys out there at that side shooting the three because you need offensive rebounding. You need to be able to score any way you can. Lovedale slipping to the bucket. He pounds it down and will go to the line. Davidson with a whole lot of swagger now. They're seven minutes and 57 seconds away from the Elite Eight. 7.57 to go. 65-48. Back to the motor after this. Tonight there's going to be a jailbreak. Somewhere in this town See me and the boys, we don't like it So we're getting up and going down It's easy to feel like you're on the same team when you stay at Sheraton. Starwood Preferred Guests earn star points regardless of what team they root for. So everybody wins. These chili cheese fries are making me full. You don't have to finish them. You just... Charlie? Yeah. You wanna... What the... Wow. Who's this guy? Calling in a sub. How long has he been sitting in the back of my car? It's always back there. Always back there? Yeah. Cherry limeade, buddy? I thought he was a buddy of yours. Snack time food. Looking for a little something to tide you over? Then come to Sonic because we've got tons of ways for you to get your snack on. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. You have given running your entire summer vacation. You have given running an hour before and an hour after practice. Your Saturday mornings and your late night hangouts. And what has running given you? Just a half step in overtime. The 8508 with NB Zip Energy Return. The more you give, the more you get. Love running more. Obviously having historical seasons for them. And how about Louisville now? Rick Pitino understands how to play in this tournament. And Ben Howland has done just about everything except win a national championship during the years he's been at UCLA. Maybe this is the year for him. They feel like he can do it finally with a big man. And that's a little big man right there, Stephen Curry. 29 points. Trying to get loose, but... The way this game is shaping up, he may not necessarily have to get back in the ball game unless Wisconsin finds a way 
to slow Davidson's attack down. One of the things I think with the guys out there on the floor for Davidson right now, if I'm Wisconsin, the guy who's guarding Thomas Sander or Andrew Lovedale, I don't let him leave the paint. I force those guys to shoot the ball so I can prevent layups because right now Davidson just executing to perfection, getting the high percentage shots, forcing Wisconsin to foul. Flowers takes a jump shot, rebounded, Steamsma, Bohannon short, batted around, and claimed by Krabinoff. Wow. He's tied up, though, and the possession arrow favors the Wildcats of Davidson. Well, maybe they saw something I didn't because the Wisconsin guys came up with possession. Didn't even look like that guy had a, that Sander had a hand on the ball. And the winner of this game will play the winner of our second game, Kansas and Villanova. Again, Davidson doing an outstanding job of executing their offense, getting cutters down the lane, getting shooters open off of screens. Curry back in the game. Watch See, him run the baseline. And that's what I would do. I would back off Lovedale even more, get in the paint and not allow the layups. Richards Let curls, Lovedale. Bar, quick release. Lovedale, offensive rebound, and it squirts out of his hands. We'll head the other way. Is there enough time for this Wisconsin team to get back in this game? Well, again, they're going to have to speed up their offensive attack and continue to play defense the way they did. They got to chase the perimeter guys, but keep a man in the paint to prevent the layups. And they have to limit Davidson to just one shot and out. Push the ball up the floor. Flowers trying to take things in his own hands, but he just can't get the ball to go in. He's 4 of 12 from the field. And you see Davidson now trying to stack the paint. But the pressure guys, the perimeter guys, have to find a way now. They have to deny. They have to do some things, maybe get some deflections, create some loose ball opportunities. They're not going to win without turning Davidson over. And a foul coming up. NCAA March Madness on Demand is streaming every game from the NCAA Championship online for free. You can watch any game, anytime at the new NCAA.com. So the foul on the play called on Flowers, and that is his second. That sends Andrew Lovedale, the junior from Benin City, Nigeria, to the line. Look at Andrew Lovedale, obviously very effective in this def Davidson offense. And all he does is go to the offensive glass, executes the screen and roll very nicely, good hand, strong rebounder, and pretty long and quick in the pressure as well. Largest lead of the game now for Davidson, 67-48. Bohannon steps back. And as hot as Bohannon was in the first half, can't buy a basket now. And this is where the injury maybe to Trayvon Hughes, the second leading scorer on this team, has had grave impact for Wisconsin. Curry, 15-footer. Got it. I, I am really shocked, though, that Curry's able to get into that paint without having any Wisconsin defender challenge that shot. And we've seen that a number of times, particularly the big guys. Bohannon dumps it down. Butch lays it up and in. And a timeout called by the Badgers. 5.24 to play. Second half, 69-50. Davidson. It's easy to feel like you're on the same team when you stay at Sheraton. Starwood Preferred Guests earn star points regardless of what team they root for. So everybody wins. 
about our new building stock. I'm working on something big. And this continues with new episodes of TV's number one comedy lineup, Monday right here on CBS. Well, uh, a number of 10 seeds have made it to the Elite Eight, but none have advanced to the Final Four. Davidson, five minutes and 24 seconds from joining that group. And the question is, Davidson doesn't care about history. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think this young man really cares about history. He makes his history. 5.20 to go. Al Richards will taxi the ball into the front court with Lovedale. Paulus Goslin, Curry, and Rossiter. And for right now, for Davidson, it's all about patience and more patience on the offensive end. You don't have to rush. You don't have to take bad shots. The clock is on their side. And Steamsma comes up with the rebound. Different story, though, for Wisconsin, Lynn. Oh, you're absolutely right. It's they have to be rush and... They be can't be patient. Hitter. Quick hitters. Butch straight away. And fortunately, Steams was there for the rebound. Well, this has been the Stephen Curry show. And which game in the NCAA tournament thus far hasn't been the Stephen Curry show? And he's demonstrated again, not only is he a pure shooter, but he's fearless going into the lane with a variety of acrobatic shots. And this young man is just a basketball player. You can talk about shooting a three all you want, but he seems to have no fear going in the paint. And more times than not, he makes it work. So Barr comes back in for Davidson as Paulus Goslin checks out. Steamsma misses the second. Lovedale. With the board. And how about, again, the Davidson strategy of making Wisconsin earn it? They've given up very few easy buckets, particularly under the basket, very few high percentage shots without fouling and forcing the shooter to go to the line. And still not really in foul trouble. Ten to shoot. Curry. Lovedale off the screen. Curry to double puck off the heel. Out of bounds, and the Badgers will get it again. So Coach Bob McKillop in his 19th season, he advanced to the NCAA tournament five times prior to this game, but had never won a game four times. Excuse me, this is their fifth time in the tournament. He had never won a game, but they won in dramatic fashion against Gonzaga. When Curry had 40, Curry with 30 against Georgetown, knocking off a two-seed. Now they are under four minutes away from doing the same thing to the Badgers of Wisconsin, winners of the Big Ten regular season and tournament title. 3.49 to play. Second half, Davidson with a 69-51 lead. In these ruins, a legendary evil has been waiting. We could be walking through an ancient graveyard right now. Oh, that's great, Eric. Now. Five explorers will unleash the curse. <gasps> On April 4th, it's inside me. The only way out <laughs> is to solve the mystery of <laughs> the ruins. Live it all. See more at ruinsmovie.com. I'm where here comes the bride meets here comes all her stuff. Believe me, I'm there. Wherever you are in life, whatever your needs, your dreams. For the hours you keep, no one understands that place better than State Farm. We help more people save money and protect what matters than anybody else. You know where? Daddy, can't wait to get my license, Smeets. I can't believe my baby's driving. Oh, yeah. I'm there. From car to home to life, like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Millions of people have discovered a secret to truly healthy hair, and even the men are talking about it. Whatever was in that bottle worked. It made my hair feel amazing. It was, like, really shiny. This is kind of weird, because dudes don't really talk about their hair being soft. It feels good on the scalp. The scalp is happy. The hair is happy. I want to know. What is it? It's Advanced Head & Shoulders Shampoo and Conditioner. Really? Shut up. <laughs> when you think head and shoulders, you think dandruff. They have up their game, I guess. The Advanced Head & Shoulders Collection. Truly healthy hair starts at the scalp.
What sits before you is one heavy-duty Gator XUV. There's not a job too tough for its four-wheel drive and independent rear suspension. A machine like this has no business being locked up. It belongs outdoors, forging new trails through the dirt and the mud. The only question is, who's going to turn it loose? Will it be you? Well, again, you look at the turnover situation, timeout situation. Obviously, Davidson doesn't really need them. All they need to do is run that clock. Wisconsin in a pickle right now. Both teams in the bonus, double bonus. And really, none of that is in play right now for both of these teams. What it comes down to is Wisconsin is going to have to start getting quick shots, going to have to turn Davidson over, and that's a major uphill battle. Davidson with only six turnovers and not likely to give the ball back. And a foul coming up. This will go against. And that's the key stat right there. You see right down the bottom of your screen, 18 points off turnovers for Davidson. Wisconsin not normally known to give the ball back, succumb to the Davidson pressure, to their denial. And Davidson took full advantage. And, you know, that, along with Curry getting off in long streaks, has really had a, a detrimental impact on Wisconsin, particularly their psyche. You look at their body language over the last five or eight minutes, I think they felt beaten maybe about five minutes ago with about eight minutes left in this ballgame. Wisconsin has a team, 11 of 16 from the free throw line. As Krabinoff hits the second, eight points for Joe Krabinoff. 69 to 52. Now Barr, as they spread the floor, Richards has been excellent. Handling the ball in space, 10 seconds to go. Five seconds, Richards, three seconds. And the Wildcats turn it over. And that is turnover number eight. Make that... Eight for Davidson. And even though Richard's getting a stern talking to, it still comes down to the fact that that, that lost possession doesn't hurt Davidson. They accomplished something by running down the full 35 seconds. Just about putting this game out of reach is going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for Wisconsin to come back here. Two fifty-seven to play in the second half. Davidson with a sixty-nine to fifty-two lead. The story for the Davidson Wildcats has been their terrific sophomore Stephen Curry with thirty-one points. And in some, it's really been quickness versus size, and quickness has won out. Davidson doing a lot of things defensively, providing an awful lot of pressure, forcing Wisconsin into twelve turnovers, getting eighteen points off those turnovers, and certainly. 18 fast break points as Davidson continue to push the ball at Wisconsin with great success. So Landry missing the first free throw. So let's take a look as the winner of this game will take on the winner of Kansas Villanova coming up next. North Carolina Louisville set a one versus a three. Coach Roy against Coach Patino. 69-53. And Wisconsin again, they've got to step up. They've got to do something to get some deflections. Davidson, a nice job with spacing and spread so far. Not an awful lot of help, not a lot of opportunities. You know, if I'm Wisconsin, I've got to double now. I've got to find a way, kind of zone up a little bit. Put the ball in the air so they might have a chance at it. Curry around the screen. Inside Lovedale. Ball fake and bucket. Wow, what a play. There you see the wizardry of Stephen Curry as he put that one right into the hands of Lovedale underneath off the dribble. Approaching the two-minute mark. 71-53. Krabenhoff banks one in. And it's something that I think in retrospect Wisconsin wish they did more of, posting up, 
spreading the floor, being able to utilize their size inside. Because this one is just about over. And you know, I say it's over. Wisconsin knows it too. They've expended so much energy right now. Their guys are dragging and they're not able to continue to chase Davidson. Richards. That one rims off. Rebounded by Flowers. He finds Bohannon. Who drives and draws a foul. So it looks like Wisconsin will lose this game. But you have to give a lot of credit to the season that they've had. 31-4. and 16-2 and two in the conference. And Coach Ryan, here's a man that is truly one of the great coaches in the country. Doesn't get a whole lot of love or as much love as he should from us national media types. Well, his record speaks for itself. It's just in a game like this, they just ran into you know, a ball of fire by the name of Stephen Curry. And in doing so, with the effort to try to stop him and take the ball out of his hands, Allow Davidson to establish some other guys. And, you know, this is what it comes down to. They're running the hot curry and they got burned. That's right. And you also have to look at the game Richards has had. 11 points and 13 assists for their senior point guard. 71-56, Curry fouled in the backcourt. So our Chevrolet players of the game. No surprises here. Stephen Curry with 31 points on 11 of 22 shooting. He hit 6 of 11 from the three-point line. And Michael Flowers with 12 points and 6 rebounds. And you let's give Michael Flowers some credit. He did all that he could to stop or try to stop this young man. Obviously, you can't do it by, by yourself. He needed some help from his teammates, but it was difficult for his teammates to do it because of the way Davidson moved the ball, spread the floor, got other guys involved. So now a sub coming in for Wisconsin, and this is Tanner Bronson. He will come in and replace Joe Krabinoff. Krabinoff leaves with 10 points. Curry adds a second free throw, 73 to 56. 33 points for Stephen Curry. As we close in on a minute. Inside Bohannon, the left-hand runner won't go. Gets his own rebound. So Davidson will advance to the Elite Eight. How about this, folks? They await the winner of top-seeded Kansas here in the Midwest, taking on Villanova. And Gus, the surprise is not that Davidson won because we knew they were a hot team. We know that they have the winning habit, 24 consecutive wins. This is their 25th as Stephen Curry comes off to an ovation. But it's the way in which they beat Wisconsin. And it was quickness against size. Davidson asserted themselves right from jump. Spicy Curry. <laughs> and now Lovedale checks out along with Richards. As the subs will get an opportunity to play for the final 57.9. That ball stolen away by Rossiter. Along with Barr. And here comes Brendan McKillop. McKillop on the baseline. Along with Nelms. Dan Nelms is checked in. Skip pass, Barr with 10 to shoot. Shows it, lets it go. And out of bounds, last touch by the Badgers. And here come the substitutes for the Badgers. How about coach Bob McKillop, 19th year. He is heading to the final eight. Old school type coach, New York guy. Made a home at Davidson. No nonsense. And he said to us yesterday during practice, guys, I hope we can give you something to get excited about tomorrow. They certainly did. I'll say, and it, again, it, it comes down to not the question of whether Davidson would win or not because they are that good, folks. 
when you win 25 in a row, you got something going for you, but it's in the way in which they beat the Big Ten Conference Tournament champions in Wisconsin. I mean, just took them apart. So they will hold the ball up. Ten seconds to go, and that'll do it. How about this? The Davidson Wildcats advance. 73-56 over Wisconsin. And they are heading to the final eight.